Hey guys, welcome back to Shenanigans 4x4. Today I'm going to be turning all this eBay special stuff into a functional 12 volt control box that's going to go in the back of my Ranger. If you like this video, please let it be known down below. Subscribe to see future content and check out the My Shopify link down below. That's where you'll find these hoodies, some t shirts, and some stickers. So, in the last video, I put the kick ass power station in the back of my Ranger. If you haven't seen that video, click the link up here and check it out. Now, because I've put the power station at the front of the tub, while it does have the USB ports and seek sockets and Anderson plugs that I'll need, I also need some access to the rear to make it a lot easier. Now, I first looked at four wheel drive super center. They have a control box that has switches, Anderson plugs, cigarettes, sockets, and USBs. That's a great option, but it's in a very large sort of form factor. There are some smaller options on the market, but they only go up in price. So for the Adventure Kings control panel, with postage, it works out to about $145. And for one of the smaller options, it can get up to about 256 bucks. So I decided to make my own. I've got this black ABS project box, a five gang switch panel that'll control all my lights. Uh, I've got a 10 pack of Anderson style connectors. Uh, I've already used two of those, one on my fridge and one on my air compressor. I've got a six way fuse box. Uh, this is gonna be used one fuse for each of the switches. Uh, also this top row has a cigarette socket and USBs so they'll be on a separate fuse and one thing the options on the market don't have is a master switch so I'm throwing one of them in just to protect against current draw and what have you all these items off eBay have cost me hundred and seventeen dollars and three cents with free shipping so coming in under the Kings control box the only thing I'm missing is wiring and you're obviously going to need to buy wiring anyway if you're going to be wiring one of these up so I bought a 30 meter reel of 3 mil dual core wire that's got the black and red wire in one sheath and also a 10 meter length of dual core wire in the 6 mil bearing so the 3 mil will be used to run from the switches to any lights or devices I wire it to and the 6 mil for running power into the box and to the Anderson connectors. All right, let's get into wiring all this up. All right, so some tools I'll be using today, are some basic wire cutters, small flush cut type and a standard diagonal type. Um, some automatic wire strippers, they make life a lot easier. I've just recently remembered that I've had these hanging around. These are a ratcheting terminal crimper. Uh, these will make it a lot easier for all those terminals. I recommend getting one of these if you're doing a project like this where you need to crimp a lot of connectors. I've got my butane soldering iron and I have a pack of terminals. So this has all your spade connectors, uh, ring terminals and some wire connectors. Um, I've also got some four connectors that I have left over from another small toolkit that I'll be using to put terminals on the fuse box. All right, so first thing will be to decide on the layout of the box. So first off, I want to put the control panel up the top here. I'll then have the fuse box sitting around here. I want to have two Anderson style plugs sitting about here master switch I want to go about there so that's the basic design of a control box nice and compact um, what I'm planning to use these switches for I will run some tub lighting above my tub rack which will be the first switch the second switch I'll wire up now which will be the LED lights on the back of the tub rack uh, then I, in future I plan to 
run some side lights, one for each side. So this will be the left side, that'll be the right side. And this switch will still be for whatever I want it to be in future. Now that everything's attached, it's time to get into the wiring. Um, so the switch panel is pre-wired, as you see. Um, I'm going to change the wiring a little bit. Um, all the positives are daisy chained with the little LED indicators on the switches. So it's all coming from the one positive cable. Um, I'm going to leave that daisy chained for the indicators for the switches, but for the actual power into the switch, I want it fused from the fuse box, so I will be running separate wire into each switch. The negatives I'll leave as is, and obviously the power into the top three items, which are the USB ports, the cigarette socket, and the voltmeter they'll all go on to another, suite, another fuse on the fuse box. So there, I've still got the LED indicator lights daisy chained together through one positive. So that just runs straight to the switch, the master switch. Um, and then all I have left on the switches are the input and the output. So I'm going to use the 3mm wire to run from the fuse box to the switches. Um, because I've got the dual core wire, it's got the red and black wire inside a sheath. All I'll need to do is cut the sheath off and I'll have some red wire and some black wire left over if I need it down all right now that terminals connected to the first fuse space uh, we'll flip it over and the next step is to run that wire cut it to length at the first switch put a female spade connector on it and tie it off So all the switches are now fused. The last fuse bay I'm going to use for the USB and cigarette ports with the voltage meter. Um, to do that, I will run from there and solder, solder into this wire here. Alright, now I'll use the 6mm wire to run power from the master switch to the fuse box. Alright, that's the majority of the wiring done. All that's left tonight is to wire up the Andersons. They'll be running directly to the master switch. I'm not going to fuse them because the kick-ass power station has 
automatic reset circuit breakers inside the box. Once they're wired up, I'm gonna put another Anderson on the top. That'll be the input plug from the battery box. And then we're good to go. Just a little update of what I've done off camera. So I've finished wiring the fuse box and I've added all these earth terminals to this earth terminal block, which then run through the larger earth wire there. Um, on the other side of those earth terminals, just got short lengths of wire with these female spade connectors. Um, that should just make it easy to wire anything up to them. Um, so with the dual core wire obviously I'll connect the red positive cable to a female spade connector and that'll go straight on the inputs uh, outputs of the switches to give power to the lights that I'm running and then I'll have a male spade connector on the negative side to come back to this earth wire should stop anything going to the wrong side now I've got the input coming from the Anderson plug on top to one side of the switch and all of the power to the other devices so to the two Anderson plugs and to the fuse block and also to the voltage meter and the SIG port and USB sockets um, so then with the negatives I had all the ring terminals on them so I just put a bolt through them and I've wrapped the shit out of it with electrical tape for now um i did order with all the rest of the stuff a earth terminal block which i'm hoping will still arrive um if not i might have to order another one uh so that'll go down here so that i can just put some fork connectors on these and put them all in the one block it'll be a lot neater but this is just the interim solution all right so just another quick update uh my earth terminal block arrived which looks a lot, lot neater than the ring terminals bolted together and taped um, so it comes with two of these one red for positive one uh, black for negative so I've got the black one in there everything's all hooked up looks a lot neater
that's my take on the 12 volt control box. It sits in there nice and snug. Easy to turn it on and then flick me lights on. So hopefully this comes in handy when we go camping. Uh, I'll leave links down in the description uh, for everything I've used. As I said, it's all eBay special stuff, but it all works, so it's pretty alright. Uh, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the My Shopify link. Grab yourself a sticker, t-shirt, or hoodie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.